What are they doing with Gary Sanchez? Do you expect to see him behind the plate tonight? I, I just think they're, uh, you know, they're all in on Gary, and they just feel at some point he's going to get that big swing, that big hit. But, you know, uh, my opinion, if you look at the analytics, and I'll, I'll go back to it, I see the same numbers everyone else is seeing, is that, you know, there's certain matchups that right now, this year, he doesn't have any chance, and that's the upper velocity, 95-plus. He just can't catch up to it. And, uh, you know, sometimes, I don't know, you have to play the hot hand. And Higashioka, maybe he's never going to be a huge star in this league, but he's a star right now. And for, for whatever reason, everything is going his way. Uh, he's always been a good defensive player, but every time he started in the last boy months, he's provided great offense too. So um, they're wedded. To Gary Sanchez, I think they feel as though he's going to come out at some point, but uh, you know they might be waiting too long. Yeah, for me, it comes down to late in the game, runner on third, less than two outs. Gary Sanchez comes to the plate, and you got no faith that he can drive that run in, and he's going to strike out, and he's going to leave you in the lurch. Whereas Higashioka or about anybody in that dugout other than Gary Sanchez gives you a shot, and they still go to him, just hoping that he'll have that three homer night. But, I mean, the guy hit 147 during the 60-game regular season. At some point, you got to wave the white flag. Yeah, it's just been a lost year. Those, those, that, that kind of stuff happens, especially, you know, in a 60-game season. That doesn't even talk about, uh, you said, a guy on third, less than two outs driving him in. How about the opposition guy on third and catching and, yeah. and feeling 100% confident that he's going to block that ball in the dirt? Yeah, I thought you guys explained it pretty well last night uh, in regards to the Tampa catcher. Uh- 